Hello friends! I am so busy. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Renee for those of you who don't know. Um, today is baking. I've got a bunch of bread done. I've got cinnamon pull apart bread done. I did four loaves of wheat bread, cookies. My brownies are set. I bagged up um, all my spices and, and um, oh, what was it? My dried vegetables, my homegrown beans, and stuff like that I bagged up. I'll show you. But right now, I, I'm getting this done. Um, I had to take a break and wash my hair. We got to get this out to the market stand because today's the day it's got to open. It is a Friday, and things are looking good. We got it all cleaned up out there. We just got to put the fridge out there. And I'm going to take you along with me, friends. Of course, after I fix my hair, I'm going to take you. I just don't got time right now. I got so much to do. I had to squeeze that in there. Anyway, I got to check the cookies. Oh, they're doing beautiful. My neighbor was driving, not driving. She was walking her two little girls in their stroller. So I went out there and give them a nice warm cookie right out of the oven, the little doll babies. All right. I did four beautiful loaves and I don't slice them. Sometimes I could, if they ordered some and they wanted it sliced, why then I could do that. What am I doing wrong here? Get open. But normally I don't slice it. And then I'm doing all this baking today, right? I've been up since six o'clock in the morning, had my bread going. Um, I feel like my grandma today. <laughs> she used to bake and every square inch of the house that had room on it, had something baked on it. So I've been up since early with my bread. My cookies were what I made the other day that I froze so that we could get them going. Um, oh boy, I just had to turn you on right now so I can explain this to you. I'll go fix up my hair and then I got pretty much everything packaged that I need to package that and the white bread. The white bread's okay, but that, my cinnamon pull apart bread, that needs to um, cool just a little bit longer. And I believe the white bread's ready to package and then I can label them. Yep, this is good. We'll get that, boy, that soft bread. I love, this is my Amish white bread, for those of you who are wondering. And yes, I did videos making this several times, but it is Friday today. You'll probably see this on Monday. Okay, friends. You're right up next to me. This is my big industrial scale. I love it because I got to weigh everything. So I got to turn it on. We got to finish up. I did some of the wheat bread. Now we got to do the white bread. And I only got two loaves of that because the other half of that batch, because I doubled it, I made um, cinnamon pull apart bread. So, we only need two of these. These friends are my new labels. See? It says the market stand. Aren't those cute? <laughs> I love them. I get them from a... I found a place. Amish gentleman in uh, Ohio. Um, I looked online. And I'm telling you, everywhere I looked online, they wanted at least a buck a label. Well, who can afford that? You know, I can't afford a buck a label. So my friend Alice, bless her little heart. I love you, Alice. Um, she says, why don't you go through the gentleman I grow th go through? His name's Vernon. And he's in uh, Ohio. Okay. Mind you, I ordered 4,500 labels. Okay. I paid a total of $128. You can't beat that one. And this is one, okay, and this bread is my white bread. I sell that for $3 a loaf. 
So that's where I got all my labels, and I love it. And I always stick a little thank you sticker on here, you know. Got to thank everybody. There. So there's the white bread. We'll set that back there. Move we'll pop this hat. Here's this loaf. It all averages about the same between, you know, 140 and 150. So. works good all right so we got the bread all labeled we gotta fix this I bought 500 of these bread bags and I'm not sure if I like them now they're a little flimsy but I think they'll be okay I'll use them up real quick all right that's that um I'm gonna go for now my cookies are cooling I'm just roasting this. Look at him, just beat red. If you see my, well, I could have turned my light on. It's a little dark in here. If you hear that noise, that's my fan in the window. Um, I got my cookies to cool and my cinnamon pull apart bread to cool. And the next time you see me, we'll be pulling the fridge out and getting that in the market stand. I got the shelves all cleaned off in there. And uh, we just got to stock it. And I'll take you with me when I stock it so you can see everything. I'll show you this stuff first. I do this every year. And I have good luck. I put it in this. I always put it in some kind of container. This is, um, let me slide these down. It's like 83 degrees here in Michigan. I can put this up a little bit. Oh, it's hotter than the blazes. I sell all kinds of stuff. Now this is my freeze dried tomato powder. And see, I get my packaging with the little window so they can see what's in it. I got that, and I've got, I um, harvested some of my parsley, so I sell fresh parsley. And this is um, freeze-dried, but I just write parsley on the back. You can dehydrate it or freeze-dry it. I've got, let's see, I've got vegetable flakes. I sell the heck out of these. Um, and I sell this big pack. It's like... Oh, it's a quarter of an ounce or a half ounce. I'm not sure. I think it's a half ounce. I sell it for a buck fifty. They sell they sell pretty good too. Of course, I don't rip nobody off. I I do a fair price. I always gotta think a third for my market stand, a third for my overhead, and a third for us. So, and I also sell everything bagel seasoning. See, you can always see. You can see through all these packages. These, I sell a lot of. These are dehydrated mixed vegetables. And I will dehydrate mixed vegetables just to package these because I sell them like crazy. People love them. Now, I am I do sell, I'm just sweating like a dog. I do sell um, my freeze-dried stuff, but I don't stock that in my market stand because I'm just scared that it would, it would, um, I'm afraid that somebody would walk away with it. Not that I, you know, if somebody needed it, I'd give it to them. But I just, I got a lot of work into that. And our freeze dryer is not cheap. So I always put a sign out there for freeze dried food, just inquire up at the house, you know. And that's the best way to put it. Because if somebody doesn't have the money, I'm not going to turn them away. I just, I would rather somebody ask me than, than steal it from me, you know. Cause I, I give it and then these are of course you guys all know I do my homegrown beans so I package those up and I sell those like crazy I sell a package it's about a pound size for two bucks and it sells like mad now what I am going to add to this box is um, for the bean soup I've got a beautiful soup blend for beans um, not a soup blend a spice blend for beans and I'm going to put that together, and I, I put that in here. Of course, I sell it separate because not everybody wants it. If I put it in there and I don't use it, it's wasted. So I'm going to package some of that up for the beans and for a, a bean soup seasoning. And I'll show you that in a video, too, because that, that makes nice. That's really nice. So that's it for that one. And I'm going to go cool off. And I will see you out at the market stand.
Well, hello, friends. Here we are. We got all kinds of stuff. Look at this neat packaging I got for cookies. Isn't that cool? And it stands up. I love it. Anyway, you see breads and stuff I got there. Still, I'm hauling out all kinds of stuff. But I got all my eggs in the fridge. I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, three, four, I got 16 dozen eggs in my fridge. I think that's a pretty good start. And I always sell soda pop, cold soda pop. And I usually, my biggest sellers are Mountain Dew and Pepsi. So that's what I stock. And I'll show you inside the fridge in a second. You'll see the whole thing as soon as I'm done um, stocking it too. So, now I got the Mountain Dew and I don't drink either. I don't drink soda pop. Once in a blue moon I'll drink a cold orange crush. And I also stock it with water. So, And I was glad this year because I scored on my pop, so I'm still able to sell it for just a buck a can. Cool pop, so I sell it a lot. And I gotta make sure it's all forward facing. All right, so we got that. Now I've got all my peanut butter brownies and my regular brownies. I can all put up here. I stock them right here. Everything's all priced. brownies and my grandbaby swiped six of them. They're hilarious. Okay, there's that. Set that right there. And then I got these. I'm going to put these down on the bottom because I always have more of these than the peanut butter swirl. sellers in a market stand. Those of you who are wanting to do a market stand, they sell like crazy. Okay, so my brownies are all there. Let me show you the fridge. Okay, you see I got the brownies, I got the peanut butter swirl, the regular ones, I got, oh, look at all those eggs. There's 17 dozen eggs, 16 or 17 dozen eggs, soda pop, and then I got a section over there on the other side for my bottled water. This shelf is not done yet, but that's all my breads. And look at these. I made beautiful pull-apart bread. I keep that up. And uh, I got white bread and wheat bread. And they're nice looking. Okay, so these cookies, I got a stand-up package and I love it. I'm going to put these up here. And they stand up nice up there. So that's nice up there.
Okay. And then this, that I have all my stuff in, I leave that right here. And uh, people can look through that. And then I got another container. You'll see when I bring that out. All right. We have to make popcorn for the market stand and for the grandbabies. They're having a ball watching this popcorn pop. But this is my nice little popcorn machine. Hi. Hi, she says. <laughs> and we are going to make popcorn. So yep. I use a third cup of buttery popcorn oil for each batch. And I use a teaspoon and a smidge more of salt. So I need just a little bit more. Maybe a teaspoon and a quarter. And then, with that, are you saying hi? Hey, Gussie boy, show them what Spidey Man does. They can't see it. Come over here. Come over here. Show them the camera. Show them what Spider-Man does. <laughs> I just love them. Him and his Spider-Man hands. And then I use a cup of my mushroom popcorn. No, there's no mushroom in it. It just pops up big and fluffy. That's it. We're going to turn that on. I've already popped all this. We gotta get this packaged up. I'll show you how I do that. I got these big bags, nice big bags here, and I sell my popcorn for a buck in each bag. I didn't change that from last year because it just remained the same. I just fill my bags up. <laughs> I give them a nice big bunch of it. And I put a label on it and a big old bag of popcorn for a buck. Cheap as can be. And then we got to go out to the market stand because I've also got my... Um, it's been open for a few days. I've been busy, but I also got my birdhouse gourds done to go in there, and Mr. Wayne is gonna figure out a way I can hang them. I wanna pack this down, but I don't wanna crush it. I'm gonna give it a good pack. I got a little bit out of there. All right. And there we go. Nice big bags. Oh, oh. Look at Cece. Oh. Look at it popping. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I'll give you a little dish. Hold on. Look at this. 
Hold on. Watch this. No, no. Let's get one. Come here. Let me get through here. Okay, friends, so that, see my little birdhouse gourds hanging? I've got them all decorated and painted, and I sell those like crazy out here, but I grow those every year. So those are pretty, but I got my market stand. It's looking good. It's up, it's going. Um, my bread sold out, so you see I got to make more bread, and I had to restock my fridge. My snack mix is selling. My spices are selling. Everything's doing good in there. I made popcorn yesterday. So everything, friends, is looking good in my market stand. And each, you know, I usually do one good baking day a week. Unless I get really busy and or I get orders and whatnot. But we also got our nice big banner up. And uh, it looks good. I had that made last year. Baked goods, fresh produce, fresh eggs, and more. So... That's my market stand, and it does very well in the summer. So thanks for hanging out with me, friends. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next video.